Let's take a look at every single LEGO Power Miner set there is. First off, we have the Stone Chopper, which is one of the smallest that there was, and you can see it is number one, and every single set will have a number corresponding to it, but this is just like a little cave motorbike that the power miners were able to drive. Next we have the mine mech which has some features such as spinning the blade and chopping the choppers and then you are able to move it and make it walk. Every set has some fun functionalities such as the granite grinder as you go forward the front claw goes back and forth goes chick chick I'm a big fan of the claw digger. You get full control and this is a very hefty little machine that we are able to dig out a lot of stone and it, it definitely can grab a lot. Of all the sets, the Thunder Driller is my personal favorite because it is a small compact unit, which as you drive forward, it is able to spin the drill out the front. So that just feels such Power Miner like loved playing with this one as a kid. And inside we got lots of storage for dynamite. The crystal sweeper is pretty great because as you drive it, it sweeps up and gathers all the crystals and puts them inside the back component for storing all your goodies because that is what the power miners are after is to gather all the crystals in the mine. And this one also has a little driller that we're able to zap out a few other extra crystals then there's the crewing component in here and we can take off the top and our little friends are saying hi to us hi he's waving and fun fact about my personal collection this was the first motorcycle i ever owned and included in the crystal sweeper was this rock monster launcher Power Miners had three waves, the first of which were these six that we went over. The next ones are the rest of these green ones that we are going to go over right now. It started with the Crystal King, which is kind of like the Bionicles where it has full functionality of moving all its limbs and mouth and chomping. And it's pretty great, just a little <laughs> scary monster compared to these little rock monsters. He's the big one. He is truly the Crystal King. There were two poly bags released, which included this little dinky machine and this little rock monster chucker. Now to the power miners machines. This is the boulder blaster. So it has these units at the front to be able to push the rock away. But the best part's up here where we spin this, we're able to chuck dynamite at the rock monsters. Also starting in the second wave were these big rock monsters, which were able to chuck the little rock monsters. Next, we got the Rock Wrecker, which I was actually really disappointed that these blades out front did not spin when you spin the machine. All that spins are the little blades out front. So I've tried to do some modifications to change it, but it just didn't work. But at the top, you got a net that you can chuck at the rock monsters and some dynamite. The Cave Crusher is among my favorite. I just love how it looks like a little centipede walking around. And as you spin, these blades out front spin very well. And you're also able to chuck a blade at the rock monsters. This next one's a big one. It's the Titanium Command Rig. Now this is a beast. It's a lot like the Thunder Driller where as it drives, the front drill is able to spin. But this has some extra functionality that you're able to unlatch it, pull the whole rig up, and then keep drilling downwards. So this is their main unit for getting that rock underneath them. Those pesky rock monsters will need to be caught with a net and blown up with some dynamite. The Titanium Command Rig does feature a little gel cell that they are able to trap these rock monsters in. Just go in there little buddy, stay locked up and secure, and off away we'll go. This crane system on here is very nifty. Some great use of technical Legos. The underground mining station is great because as we get crystals, we can drop them off in here and then spin our wheel, which will take it up the rig and then place it into our little mining car, which will drive it off to our storage. Great feature is because the wheel is so big, it slowly, gradually lets the trough back down. Now we're to the third and final wave of power miner, which only had four sets. First of which is this fire blaster, which blasts water instead of fire because 
they are all based in lava. Like, take a look at this lava monster. That is a mean looking guy. But we'll take a look at this lava monster in a moment. First, we gotta take a look at the magma mech. So it's another one of those mechs in the series. So we're able to walk it. And this one has a pretty nifty claw feature. Watch it go. Just catches any rock monsters or lava monsters in the way and blasts some water as well. Now I would say this, the claw catcher has some of the best functionality because there are lava monsters and we must somehow keep them locked away. Let's show that to you again. We're able to open up the water tank, then grab the lava monster and trap him away in the water tank so that he can't harm anyone else. Our final set is Lava Trash, which is what included the giant lava monster. And he also has the functionality of chucking lava monsters. It included these water balls, which were able to shoot at the lava monsters. But because as you know, the power miners are kind, they only want to capture the lava monsters and keep them prisoned up in Lava Traz. See that? Warning, fighter monsters around. One other amazing feature is if we need some cool drinks, we just insert our money and out comes our soda pop. And that is Lego Power Miner, one of my favorite Lego themes ever made. The next Lego theme we will be taking a look at will be Lord of the Rings, so stick around to see that.